Hi. How to add header or footer text to text files before printing. This can be done automatically once set up. Now say for example I've got some a couple of test files here, text files, that I want to print, but I want to print uh, some information at the top before this first line. So I want to actually print sensitive information top secret before that. It could be any length that you want. So to do this, first you need to create a, a DOS batch script, which is here, I've already set it up for you. You can download this. If you look at the description of this video, you can download the zip file, which has the batch scripts in there for header and footer batch script. Now basically what it does, it echoes the, the text that you want here. You change that to whatever you want, to a, a new file using the input source file dot out txt and then it appends the existing file onto the end of that and then it moves it back to the original file name so it will overwrite your original files you have here so please keep a backup copy if you want to if you want to use them for something else now this does this before printing and, and then it automatically prints now to set this up you need batch and print pro Go to options menu, dark to monitor setup. Now you set up what folder you want to scan with the text files. In here you put .txt so it only picks up text files and nothing else. You set the printer to what you want by clicking on this button. And then you're going to run bat exit on scan. Now what this does, it runs any script before it does any printing on it. So file to run here. This is where the batch script that you're going to use is put in. And then make sure you check this box, wait for process to finish. And then you want to pass the file name as parameter one, which is in the DOS script that comes in as percent one. So say if your file names test1.txt, then that will become test1.txt with the full path. So once that is set like that, click save and exit and then click add to monitor list and it will add the entry at the bottom here so you can scroll across and you can actually see what the settings are for the DOS script in here as well and once that is set you can activate monitoring set the number of seconds in this example I'm going to set five save and exit and it's going to count down and then it's picked up test one and it picked up test two as well and it's printed those so now if I open those two files you can see how it's changed it it's put that line at the top and it's put that line at the top of the second one so that's how you quickly add a header to the print and those are the two files in the spooku waiting to print which will have that information now there is a footer one as well which is actually a lot simpler because it's just appending on the end if you look at um, add footer dot bat and it's the same setup just use that instead if you want to print the text files directly to the printer without using notepad which is users by default you can go into general options printing uh, you can use raw internal text folder for text files so it just sends it straight to the printer without sending it to the spooku first and that's it. Give it a try.